Hey there. Um, wife's getting ready to go to a llama show. Actually, the state fair. This, this, uh, they're going to leave Thursday and they're going to be there all weekend. So, uh, Becky and her mother have been getting animals ready. They they wash them, they bathe them, and get them all fluffed up and looking ready. Step one to grooming day is catching all the llamas haltering them, getting them out. Then we will start with brushing and getting them ready for their baths. Seven llamas, groomed and bathed. Number eight should be on his way over pretty soon. Four more left to go after that. And then llama number 13 will get groomed in a bath down at State Fair. We are have them tied out to these hay wagons with the slats. A perfect spot where they can dry until they're ready to go back to their pasture. So you can see here, we got like a crew of people here helping out. Both these people are gonna be showing llamas down at the state fair here this weekend. So you get to see a whole, they got, that's a zoo here. They got different obstacles they gotta take and things like that. You can get some, uh, looks like some geese, some water bottles, aluminum cans, teddy bears. Well, just got through the front gate. Kind of like a TSA type thing, you know, like freaking pat you down almost. Metal detectors and everything, but, but I guess it's for the best, you know. Crazy world we live in anymore. So, so heading over to see the wife and the kids at the llama. So, our tax stalls are waiting. Yeah, I, I know. I found them. Oh, so, yeah. finally found the wife. So, <laughs> so. Yeah, the wife's getting ready to go show now, so. This is the adult Surrey female halter class. Adult llamas are three years of age and older. They are judged on confirmation, and confirmation is how the llama is put together. I am showing Solid Rock's Lily Bell Lynn here. She won the class under both judges then went on to win Grand Champion Surrey Female under Judge A and Reserve Champion Surrey Female under Judge B. All right, standing in line right now to uh, get some lunch. Uh, I'm gonna support the Nanny Pork producers today. So, not sure what I'm gonna get yet. Maybe a bone-in pork chop dinner, we'll see.
Thank goodness this barn is air conditioning. Here's some more of our llamas here. So they got some really cool exhibit this year. They got uh, what they call wild creatures made of Legos. It looks like that's a turtle or thing. Oh, that's a turtle there. Oh, look at that. Got a Lego farm set. Wow. Way over there. You want to build that? Yeah. Well, we we could try. We need a few more Legos. So Freddie's showing his llama. Yeah, this is more or less for younger kids like Freddie. It's uh, just do for fun. They just get a they get a rip them just for uh, doing the dance. Now we're hitting up the uh, the dairy bar. Good ice cream, good cold milk. Uh, gotta support those dairy farmers, right? So the sun got a nice chocolate milk and I got a nice chocolate milkshake so, so great place to get some ice ice cream on a nice cold day like a nice warm day to like today so real refreshing Heading something really cool right now. Um, they call this the Pioneer Village. Uh, they do demonstrations throughout the day of just what it was like farming 100 years ago. You know, using steam machines and you can see right there in the middle there they got an old thresher, threshing machine. So basically this threshing machine is your kind of pre-combine. You know, now kind of combines do have a, they do a threshing act now, but that's where the name combine gets, it gets its name, is, was the thresher. And then they had uh, the, the reaper. So, Maybe a portion of a so they combine the two like and hence day, the name Combine. So like I said, this this does the threshing that takes the grain out of like you can see those bundles of wheat there. And then this machine here would actually cut it and put it into bundles. What they would do? Kind of, here we got some of the first combines, so pretty neat compared to what it is now. Armors worked extremely hard back in the day. Old corn crib here. It's amazing how technology has changed now, you know. You know, this is, so yeah, it says right here. This version of the 1920s corn crib. You know what? What is going to be a hundred? You know what is going to be a hundred years from now? What is it going to be like? This is Star Acadia or Prongs, which is his barn name. I am showing him a novice pack class. 
The novice pack class is based on the llama's experience. Once a llama has won so many awards, they move up to advanced classes. This is Prongs' first time showing and performance. The judge wants to see the handler and llama walk through the performance class with a long, loose lead with no hesitation and smooth flow. We purchased prongs about a month ago from Star Llama Company. While we didn't place in the performance classes, he did very well for his first time out and we are very excited to see what he does in his future. So, just got, just leaving now, or I'm just leaving now. Wife and kids go back to the hotel and I'm heading home for the night.